Uh, hi everyone, in this video we will talk about another math trick which can be used for faster calculation. Uh, today we will talk about how to square any 3 digit number without using a calculator. So let me begin with the example. So suppose if I have 206 and I want to square this number. So how will I do that? So in that case first I will look at the first digit and uh, I will take a square of digit. So the square of 2 is 4 so 2 square is 4 uh, then I'll take the last digit and I'll take a square of that digit so square of 6 is 36 right and now to get the middle numbers what I'll do is I'll multiply 2 and 6 this 2 and 6 and then I'll multiply again with 2 and that will be uh, 6 into 4 24 so that will be the answer uh, let me take uh, another example so uh, suppose if I have um, 409 and I want to do a square in that case um, 4 square is equal to 16, 9 square is equal to 81 and 4 into 9 into 2. So 9 uh, into 8 that is uh, 72. So my answer is 167281. So that's our answer. Now, uh, if we have something which is uh, more uh, uh, bigger, or in, I will give you example of a carryover. So now, suppose if I have eight twenty-five, and I want to do a square of this number, so this will be a little different. So here, the approach will be same. So eight square. So eight square is sixty-four, and then twenty-five square. 25 square is 625 right so we'll write 25 and then we have to write a 6 here because we can only use the two digits in the end now if we multiply 8 25 and 2 that will be 400 so we can only write two zeros here and I have to write a 4 here why because we can only take the two digits so now if we uh, add them together then it will be 6 and 4 plus 4 is 8 0 6 plus 0 is 6 and 25 so that will be my answer so if you practice uh, then you can always do this calculation without even writing it on the paper now how this trick works so let's look into it so any three digit number can be written as in the following form uh, 100 x plus y uh, so if x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 6 then it will be 306 right now if I need to square this number so in that case it will be equal to 10,000 x square plus 200 xy plus y square now you can see that we have four zeros for x square two zeros for 2xy and no zeros for y square so if we add them together so it will look something like that x square 0 0 0 0 right and then we have 2xy 0 0 so this 2xy will go on to the uh, next two digits here right and then we have y square which will go here so because there is a 0 here so the y square can occupy this two digits in the end so again if I have x is equal to 9 and uh, y is equal to uh, 
11 then you can see that uh, 9 square is 81 so there is no limit for x square here right uh, and then uh, we have uh, uh, 2xy so 2 into 9 into 11 so that will be equal to 18 into 11 and that will be equal to 198 so we'll have 198 and then we have y square so 11 square is 121 so 21 and 1 here right so in that case the answer would be equal to 8 9 9 9 21 so that's your answer so i hope this uh, video helps and i'll see you in the next metric thank you Hello friends, welcome to Learners Planet. This is Alka Maheshwari. In this session, we are going to discuss the methods to find out square roots and cube roots. Friends, in this session, we are going to take the numbers who are perfect squares and perfect cubes. This session is specially designed for uh, the cat aspirants, mat aspirants and the other persons who are taking any sort of competitive examinations. Now why I am telling that we are going to take perfect squares and how will we identify them? So friends, in uh, the, for the exams I am talking about, uh, you are not directly asked whether the uh, to find out the square root and cube root of the number. It may be the part of a question. So by looking at the options, in most of the exams the questions are multiple choice questions so by looking at the options you will come to know whether the given number uh, was a perfect square or perfect cube or not okay so this is these are the smart techniques to find out the square roots and cube roots but keep one thing in mind in this session we are just taking um, the numbers who are perfect squares and perfect cubes now to apply the, the techniques, we must uh, uh, memorize the numbers uh, and the squares up to 10. So the square of 1 is 1, square of 2 is 4, square of 3 is 9, square of 4 is 16, square of 5 is 25, square of 6 is 36, square of 7 is 49, square of 8 is 64, square of 9 is 81 and square of 10 is 100. These number and the square we already know. Uh, we might have learned uh, in our junior classes also. Now, what is the unit digit of square of 1? That is actually 1. The unit digit of square of 2 is 4. The unit digit of the numbers ending in 3, uh, the square will end in 9. Okay. So, similarly, I have mentioned the table over here. Just look at the table. And you have to observe certain things. The square of 1 and 9 both end in 1. The square of 2 and 8 both end in 4. The square of 3 and 7 both of them end in 9. The square of 4 and 6 both of them end in 6. And the square of 5 will always end in 5 in only. And the square of the numbers ending with 0 will always have 0 at their unit place. So friends, uh, let's make more observations and we'll be uh, doing the problems. I'll just read out the observations for you. If the unit digit of any number is 2 or 8, then its square will have unit digit as 4. If the unit digit of any number is 3 or 7, then its square will have unit digit as 9. If the unit digit of any number is 4 or 6, then its square will have unit digit at 6. If the unit digit of any number is 1 or 9, then its square will have unit digit as 1. If the unit digit of any number is 0, then its square will have unit digit as 0. Now friends, let's take some problems. To begin, I just take a small number. Uh, let me take 529. 
whatever the number is given to you you just give a breakup of two digits from the units place so i'll just take 29 and 5 i put a comma over here now this number represents the first digit of the square root and this number 9 will represent the unit digit of the square root okay now here we see the uh, square of 3 and square of 7 both of them end in 9 so the unit place of this of square root of 529 will have either 3 or 7 at the units place isn't it friends now first digit that is fixed uh, the square of 2 is 4 and square of 3 is 9 so uh, the number should lie uh, the uh, this number should lie between 2 and 3 so the number if the number is 3 the minimum uh, number should be 9 over here the square of 3 is uh, 9 so in this case uh, it will be 2 only so the first number that is the tens digit will be 2 only now we have to find out whether the unit digit will be 3 or 7 so we are clear that the uh, tens digit will be 2 now let's multiply 2 with the next number 2 to its next number so 2 into 3 is 6 okay friends and this is 5 which is less than 6 so in this case we will uh, since 5 is less than 6 will be choosing the lesser number from the choices so we'll choose 3 so the square root of 529 is 23 let's take another number i take 1 0 2 4 now I'm going to break the numbers, splitting the numbers is uh, from last, uh, from unit digit. I'm making the pair of 24 and 10. Okay. Now, first of all, let us find uh, the uh, tens place. Since it is uh, 1, 0, the squ square root will lie between 3 and 4. So the tens digit will be definitely 3 because 2 of uh, with the tens digit as 4, we need at least 16. So friends, the tens digit, we have we are clear about it. And for the units place, we have two choices. As the square of 2 or 8, both of them end in 4. Now, as uh, in the previous case, let's multiply 3 to its 4. Next number, so 3 into 4 is 12 and 10 is less than 12. So we'll be choosing the lesser number. So 32 is the square root of 1024 let's take another number we take 1681 now make the pairs the unit digit must be either 1 or 9 and tens digit since 16 is there the square root will be uh, the square of 4 is 16 and the square of 5 is 25 so the uh, tenth digit will be definitely 4 now 4 to its next number the 4 multiplied by its next number that is 5 4 into 5 will be 20 and 16 is less than 20 so we'll be choosing the lesser number so it's 41 so the square root of 1681 is 41 Now let's take 6084. Let's make the pairs. 60. 60 lies between the square of 7 and 8. So the 10th digit will be 7, obviously. And for unit digit, we have two choices 2 or 8. Now multiply 7 to its next number, that is 8. 7 8s are 56. Now, this number which we are having is greater than 56. So, we'll be choosing the greater number. So, I'll be choosing 8. So, the square root of 6084 is 78. Now, let's choose one more number. It's 8649. Okay. Now, let's make the pairs. 86 lies between the square of 9 and 10 so uh, the tens digit will be 9 obviously 
and for unit digit we have two choices 3 and 7 9 uh, let uh, uh, let me multiply 9 to its next number that is 10 9 10s are 90 but 86 is lesser uh, less than 90 so we'll be choosing the smaller number that is 3 so the square root of 8649 is 93 isn't it the method so simple and uh, actually it's very important uh, if you are going to take any sort of competitive examinations you don't have to worry much about it ki whether the given number is perfect square or not uh, uh, since all the exams are uh, MCQ pattern, so you will come to know by observing at the options ki whether the given options are uh, the integers or not. Now I choose one more number. It's four, three, five, six. Let's make the pairs. Now. Uh, in this case the unit digit is 6 so we'll be having two choices for the unit digit in the square root it's 4 or 6 the first two digit 43 lie between uh, 43 lies between the square of 6 and 7 so the tens digit will obviously be 6 now let's multiply 6 to 7 that is 42 and 43 is greater than 42 so we'll be choosing the greater number so it's 66 so the square root of 4356 is 66 now let's take one more question over here it's 6561 making the pairs 65 lies between the squares of 8 and 9 so the tens digit will be 8 only and for the units place we have two choices either 1 and 9 now 8 into 9 is 72 and 65 is less than 72 so we'll be choosing the smaller number so the square root of 6561 is 81 now i take one more example 3 4 8 1 let's make the pairs so 34 lies between the square of 5 and 6 so we'll obviously have 5 at the tens place for the units place we have two choices 1 and 9 now 5 into 6 is 30 and 34 is bigger than 30 so we'll be having the bigger number at the units place so 59 is the square root of 3481 one more problem 2304 okay now 23 lies between the squares of 4 and 5 so we obviously have 4 at the tens place for the units place we have two choices 2 and 8 now 4 into 5 is 20 and 23 is bigger than 20 so we'll be taking the bigger number over here so the square root of 2304 is 48 friends i hope uh, you might have understood that the uh, method is quite easy you can practice uh, it well and so it will definitely be helpful for you in your competitive examinations okay all the best now let's learn uh, how to find out the cube root of the perfect cube numbers